Shay Shay. Ah, oh, that's a lot of dumplings. Nihao Kilo Crew, welcome to today's video. I am finally in Taiwan where I'm about to take on my first ever food challenge here. I am pretty jazzed for this. I'm about to take part in a big ol' record eating challenge. In front of me I have 30 shumai style dumplings which are full of fish and pork. I'm at a place called Kilung Meat Tendon Soup is the direct translation of it which is pronounced what, Sean? Oh yeah, that's a, I could not do that to save my life. I would have probably butchered the name. But yeah, we are in the Jilongsu area, uh, just outside of Taipei City. It is a rainy day here uh, in Taiwan. And so this is like the perfect comfort food to eat. But I have 30 minutes to minimum eat 30 of their shumai dumplings in order to get the 360 Taiwanese dollar meal for free, which is basically 12 bucks. But what I can also do is try and beat their current uh, dumpling eating record in the 30 minutes, which is 55 dumplings held by a YouTuber named, what is her name? Ya Ya Hui? Xiao Hui. So Xiao Hui is amazing. She ate 55 of these in 30 minutes. If I beat that, I do get a cash prize. I am not going to be trying to beat her though. I just came off of a big uh, stomach sickness. So my goal is to just hit the minimum. So I'm very excited to tuck into this. I do have a side of soup, which is optional to help me along the way. I guess it is the meat tendon soup, but hopefully I can be joining everyone else up on the wall of fame here and get this really expensive $12 meal for free. But anyways, there ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let's get our first win here in Taiwan and get this challenge started. I think I can do this. Basically, I should have a countdown timer on, but if I'm able to get through these 30, I'll likely re start requesting some more. But one, two, three, it is shumai eating time. Whew. I'm excited for these. These things are whoppers. Oh yeah, it tastes like Thanksgiving stuffing. An odd comparison to make indeed, but one that I will stand by. It kind of had an O of, I guess like an oyster stuffing? I don't know, it was good though. These are very dense and heavy. This is like one of the biggest shumai I've ever eaten. I'm not sure about y'all, but typically the shumai I'm used to are probably about a quarter of the size, so it was refreshing to have these be in a bigger package. That way you could get a lot more flavor with each bite and not just wrapper. These are so good. It was a rainy day in Taiwan, which I guess is pretty normal, but these were the perfect comfort food to go along with all the rain. That ass, if she just casually set the record in 856. Casual. Yeah, casual. It would be super cool if I set the record, but I am in no place to do that right now. I believe it's like 2,000 uh, Taiwanese dollars if you set the record, but I am um, just trying to fill my belly with 30 for now. Mm, it's 3,000. I need to get greedy. You get 3,000, then I'll beat yours and get the 3,000. Then I'll, I'll take you shopping. Mm. Ah, if only it worked like that. What a fun little shopping spree that would be. But no, I was definitely in no state to be going for the record during this challenge. My tummy was a little upset. The soup, I guess, helps to soften it, but... I think these two taste great on their own and I really like the texture. Absolutely. I really didn't think these dumplings needed anything to be dipped in. I think they had like a really nice, simple yet wholesome flavor to them, which as I said, reminded me of Thanksgiving. Whew. Some of the low down ones are really hot still, but the top ones were perfect. That is also a bit of the strategy as well, because if you do want to continue to add and go for the record, you need to make sure you give yourself enough time to order more dumplings so that they can cool down. Tonight we're going to the Spirited Away City, right? Yes. Mmm. That's gonna be so fun. I'm a huge Spirited Away nerd. And there's like a village like just outside of uh, Taipei City that looks just like the Spirited Away bathhouses area. My nerd heart is so happy had an absolutely magical evening visiting Zhufeng Village, and it was incredible. Unfortunately, couldn't enjoy too many of the market specialties. There was tons of food there, tons of delicious stuff, but let's just say I was a bit full after this challenge. Yeah, you're five, ten in. I should have been keeping a tally of how many I've eaten. A missed opportunity there for sure, but maybe on second thought, it was better to not know, <laughs> judging by the, the state of my digestive system. <laughs> I'm going to try a little bit of the soup. So this is their uh, famous meat tendon soup, which is what they are directly named after, which is kind of cool. Mm. 
，辣点儿，比较酸。啊，不会。嗯，他们比较少用芡，我们比较少用芡，比较少用芡。That is herbaceous and super spicy for me, very peppery. So I'm not going to be dipping in that. Really glad that's optional. To me, that was super like Szechuan spicy almost, and uh, everyone was like, "Oh no, it's mild," but um, not to me. That one had some some real heat to it. Mm. Can I do five more? Uh, is five is go here too? Yeah. Go. Yeah. It was kind of cool to see that some of my extra studious Japanese studying was coming in handy, even while visiting Taiwan. All right, I just got an extra five. To bring my total to 35. So those are going to cool down while I finish these. I don't want to leave just doing the bare minimum. That's my girl. And on that hopeful note, I'm going to leave you all to enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will, of course, catch you in the next one. If you're curious about the shirt I'm wearing, I wore this in honor of our friend Sean with Food League Singapore, who came out to help translate for us today because obviously Randy and I don't speak a lick of Mandarin, so. He's been really helpful with this, and uh, he's joining us all the way from Singapore, but uh, we'll, we'll be together behind the scenes, so fun fact. Anyway, back to eating. Thanks, John. No problem. Take the full pot. <laughs> these ones, maybe it's just because they're on the plate, they do look a little bit smaller than these. Luck of the draw. They're warm now. They're warm. It's like pizza where it goes from burn your mouth to, to cold pretty quick. Yeah. Alright, we are on to the final two of the required amount. And then we're gonna do like a five bonus round just so I'm not doing the bare minimum. My upset tummy is kicking in a little bit, so we're going to play it safe with just doing the extra five, if you catch my drift. going to waste. Sean gets his uh, translator reward. <laughs> his service fee. His service fee is soup. wants to go for 40, but I want to be smart and just stop at 35. But Ego wants to hit 40 because all the ones that say YouTube on the Wall of Fame have done at least 40. There you go, babe. Last one. Yeah, there we go. Oh, 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 yeah. You want to stop it? <laughs> Final bite of some really delicious shumai. So, yeah, there you go, man. Mm. Are you full? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately. What was that? Seventy ounces? Yeah. She had seventy ounces of dumplings. Uh huh. Mm. Huh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so, I obviously didn't max out. I still have um, like seven minutes and 45 seconds or whatever it is on the clock, but that was absolutely delicious. I'm really happy with that performance seeing as how um, ill I have been recently from the uh, interesting and exotic foods here that my American tummy is not used to. But a big thank you to the people here at Kilong. 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 Kilong.
I'm just going to put it up on the screen. <laughs> I can't pronounce it, and I'm so sorry that I can't, but a big thank you to them. This place is really cool. I guess been around for like 10 years or so, so excited to be joining uh, some friends up on the Wall of Fame and uh, whoo, get the the whopper of a, of a meal, the $12 meal ooh, for free and have my first victory in Taiwan. So ooh, thank you all for watching, or I should say... Shay Shay for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Okay, peace out. Bye. Thank you. Whoa, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I guess I. Woo! Yay! <laughs> it's not the best, but it worked. <laughs> Thank you, Sean.